European team champs didn't end with the result I wanted, but I had a really good feeling that there were some good times on the way. I decided to do one final test before the national champs. There was a bit of headwind in the band and I ended up just feeling really heavy. I'm happy with the run. He thinks it was wind. Wind measurement says otherwise. <laughs> I might have done just a little bit too much with this final test, but hopefully this was just a small downer before reaching my peak at the national championships coming up in one week. I'm getting my plan down for day one of the 2023 Norwegian Championships. I'll be competing in both the 100 and the 200 meter this weekend, so today I'll be running three rounds of the 100. To avoid any problems with my ankle from traveling, I arrived two days early and I'm feeling good. Now for the first race of the weekend, the 100 meter heats. Now stack start here på Emilie Gunnarsen. I alle har også fint trener, så kommer Mathias Hove Johansen og Jonas Bergård Stolten som 200 meter spesialistene. 10.82 and a direct ticket to the semi-final. I'm feeling quite okay, but saved a little bit of energy in both the warm-up and the race. I'll have to push quite hard in the semi-final, so I'm doing my preparations as if it were to be a final in itself. I had a good start, nice transition, and coming up to top speed, I'm quite relaxed. I know I'll usually do my best in my second max race of the day, so even though I could let off the gas after about 60 meters, I decided to just keep it up and push my competitors. Ended with a nice 10.50 season best, and finally I'm approaching the 10.4 second runs that I felt I'm good for through June. There wasn't too much time between the semi and the final. I tried to get in some energy as fast as possible after the race before sitting down and relaxing before the final. We're warming up again, getting into the call room, and ready to race. Super close finish and after about 10 replays and a look at the photo finish, we finally got the times. Here it is, Per Tinius, the first of Aldron, on a clear new person record for Jakob. I probably made one of my best block starts since my 60 meter personal best in 2021 felt great. Then I might have stayed just a bit too aggressive in the transition and lost some ground on Tinius on my left. I felt good for the top end though, through 80 meters, before stressing a little bit towards the line for the final 20. Just to give you a recap of the previous champs, I've gotten 2nd, 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 5th, 3rd and now a 4th place, just 500s from the gold. But I'm super happy with a 10.43 season best all things considered. I always seem to find something extra going into the national champs and I'm confident going into the 200 tomorrow. I didn't get much sleep at all the night after the 100 meter, but we have our 200 meter heats to get through. Coach got me some coffee and I'm ready to get warmed up. I didn't medal in the 100, but I'm confident going into the 200. Three of my six hours of sleep tonight was on the floor. I'm actually feeling pretty good. <laughs>
have a new contender in the 200 meter though. Horvath Bental Ingvaldsen and I have the same 200 meter season best of 20.97 with a plus 1.7 tailwind. And in the meantime, since his season best, he's been to the Diamond League and set a new national record of 44.8 in the 400 meter. I'll need to be at 100% for this 200 meter final, so I'm trying to conserve as much energy as possible through the heat. I'm holding a bit back, which I think actually made me run just a little bit too passively. I'm feeling good though, and I'm directly through to tomorrow's semi final. I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day. Ready for tomorrow. Hopefully, get some sleep tonight. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> stay quite independent when it comes to traveling to competitions and warming up it's awesome to have a coach there who can help with all the small things like getting coffee and food and on the warm-up you can see i'm still quite thorough with warming up and prepping my ankle as i feel it's still not 100 percent back where i want it I'm warming up quite well for this 200 meter semi as well, but I'm reserving the longer sprints for the final warm up. There will be only one hour and 40 minutes between the semi and the final, which I think will be an advantage for the 400 meter runners. So I'll have to be smart with the recovery to be at my best for the final. Hovar looked nice and easy through the semis with 21.29 and I'm starting to feel the pressure. My heat is probably the hardest to get through on paper, so I'll have to be on through the bend. And 21.18, that's one of the easiest sub 21.2 runs I've felt. I'm getting out of the blocks very nicely and I'm feeling nice and smooth through the bend. I'm powering out through the band just a little bit to feel how I'll push into the final. With 80 meters left, I'm trying to let off the gas, but feeling my competitors behind on both sides makes me uncomfortable, so I'll have to take a little bit of a look. Here's me looking for the time, and here's how surprised I was with the 21.80. It's a great feeling when you run a lot faster than you feel. But no time to think about that, I'll have the final in about 90 minutes. So I got my coach to prep me some recovery drinks, and we're on to the final warm-up.
just some final touches, a couple of hurdle jumps to get the right tension in my legs. And we're on to the fun. I had a good start and pushed through the band without using too much energy. Coming out the band, I think both me and Ingvaldsen were surprised about how fast he was closing in. I was pushing a lot, but he was holding on. I was planning to just push a little bit out the band. <laughs> Seeing Ingvaldsen, it turned into a hard push out the band and Ingvaldsen joined in as well. I was able to hold him back up to 140, but at 150, his 400 meter endurance kicked in. Unlike the 100 meter final, I was still able to keep my head calm and not stress but I still got beat by about two tenths of a second for the final 40 meters. That's the difference between a national class 200 sprinter and a world class 400 stayer. I was very happy with 20.91 and a silver though. With an equal PB race, I would have shared the gold, but I could not have expected that much with the low of training volume I've had this year. 20.91 is still the best results I've ever ran in a national championship, so I'll have to see that as a big success. And with problems or without, I've now placed number one or two at every 200 meter champs for seven years in a row. So if consistency really is the key, I'm starting to look for some big results coming up. <laughs> so overall, I'll have to rank this national champs about a 9 out of 10. Couldn't have gone much better. And I really have to give a big thanks to the host who put in a lot of energy so that we could turn around the sprints in the finals for the first time in so many years. And last but not least, thank you so much to the channel members who keep supporting this vlog. Big thank you to the Sprint Squad members. Check out patreon.com slash sprint squad for training programs and I'll catch you guys later in Project Paris. Peace.